Off we begin tonight in Luzerne County where a man is telling his terrifying tale of road rage. Dave Picola of Plains Township says he was riding his bicycle yesterday evening when a man chased him down in his car and beat him with a golf club. Newswatch 16's Peggy Lee spoke with Picola on the road where it happened. I was probably going about 20 miles an hour and he just jetted out in front of me. Dave Piccolo points to this part of North Main Street in Pittston, where he had the most frightening experience of road rage he's ever seen. Piccolo was riding his bicycle when a car, who Pittston police say was driven by Brian D'Amico of Duryea, pulled onto the road and T-boned him. The men had a heated exchange and Piccolo left on his bike. That's when Piccolo says D'Amico began following him. He's beeping his horn behind me and then he goes around me into oncoming traffic and swerves into me starts swerving into me and he's yelling he's going to kill me. Piccolo says he stops at this gas station to be around people in case D'Amico was armed. At the gas station, Piccolo says D'Amico took out a golf club and hit him several times on the back and on his helmet, causing the club to snap. Now he had a jagged stick, so that was when I went into him as fast as I could and then that's where I, I put him down completely there. At that point, police had arrived and D'Amico was arrested and charged with a slew of offenses. Piccola says he's telling his story to show that irate or impatient drivers put bike riders on the road in deadly situations all the time. Rich Adams owns Around Town Bicycles in Wilkesbury. He says it's state law for drivers to give bike riders four feet of space. I'd say just slow down and give us a wide berth and uh, we can coexist. That we raise the awareness of what the cyclists are putting up with, what the cyclists encounter every day out on the roads. Brian D'Amico remains locked up in Luzerne County. Peggy Lee, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.